Welcome everybody, Tony here, Lisa here, and we are back at Epcot for part two of Food and Wine Festival. Right before, we're gonna break this down to five countries because we don't want to overload you. And the or last, ourselves. Exactly. In the last video, we yeah. left off at China. If you missed that video, I will put a link in the description so you can check out that one. So here we are at India. Here is the menu, you get a warm Indian bread. We did that last year. We did it. So this year, we're gonna go with the Madras Red Curry. <laughs> here is the Madras Red Curry for $5. It looks good. I'm gonna stir it up though. Yeah, so we can get all the flavors going. Let's get a little bit of cob. Now the cast member did say that, or she thought it was a little bit spicy, but we will see. It's good. <laughs> Needs hot sauce. <laughs> no spice at all. Maybe a very tiny faint. I don't taste it. No. Are you getting other good flavors in there? Anything else? It's very, um, I don't know the word, like a stir fry type of, I think maybe because of the rice in there. Okay. Like a vegetable stir fry, it's good. I'm trying to get like all the pieces so it's just not just rice. Mm. Does eat hot sauce. <laughs> it's not spicy at all. But it does have a lot of good flavor. Uh, with the cilantro, the cauliflower, the carrots, chickpeas, the chickpeas that are in it as well. There's, I don't think there's carrot. Are there carrots? Yeah. Uh, I know there's sweet potato, which I didn't have because I'm not a big sweet potato but person. It, it's very good. It's got a lot of bold flavor. It's just uh, it's not spicy. Here we are in Africa, and we already know what we're getting the spicy Ethiopian red lentil stew. All right, here is the lentil stew. Spicy Ethiopian red lentil stew with vegan yogurt and quinoa. Yeah, we'll see how spicy this is. I'm not a big fan of quinoa, so we we'll give it a try. Why. I don't know either. I love Tom. I don't know if it's hot. The bottom of the plate felt really hot. Okay, I like one that laughed on Okay, I love Tom as a person, but it's not bad. The texture doesn't really seem like a stew. No? I don't really know what though. I feel like it's like an in-between like a mashed potato texture. Okay. I don't know. It's not bad. It's just not like a stew. I'm gonna try with a little bit of the yogurt in it and the quinoa. I'm not a fan of quinoa. I, I don't know why as Lisa said. But we'll give it the go. It does have a mashed potato texture. Yeah, it's not a stew. Maybe that's the, like how they make stew in Africa though. Maybe. Um, spice wise, I do taste a little kick. Is yeah. It spicy to me, no, but there is a kick to it for those who may have a sensitivity to spice. But quinoa I don't mind because I can't taste it. Because the spice and everything else is covering up. But it does have a mashed potato type texture. But it's still good though. I would recommend this. I would get it again yeah. actually. Yeah, I'd get it again. Next up on our tour at Epcot's Food and Wine Festival, we are at Germany. Now everybody I know goes for the bratwurst, but I'm thinking let's try something sweet and let's go with the apple strudel for $4. All right, this is the apple strudel from Germany. The cream here that you see, it's like a vanilla. It's just a vanilla sauce. Sauce, yeah. Nothing crazy, but it looks really good. This was really good last year when we got it. Good chunks of apple. Scoops. Oh yeah. You gotta. You gotta scoop. Still good. Just like an apple pie, fresh out of the oven. Fresh out of the oven. Yeah. I think uh, the Germany. Uh, Dancers are coming out. You are struggling. I am struggling with this thing. It's really right. not that difficult. It's still so good. I know. Fresh the out of the cinnamon. oven. The crust I wish was easier to work with. It is pretty easy to work with. I had a problem with, <laughs> with that. It's really good though. How can you go wrong with an apple strudel? All right. 
right, two more to go for this vlog for part two. Spain is up next. And we are going with the seafood salad. All right, there's the seafood salad, as you can see. Whoop, Lisa keeps moving it. Because I think we're in the clear. I don't think I see tentacles. No so tentacles, year. but a lot of good color that's coming off that. A lot of vegetables. Oh, seafood. Yeah, seafood looks great. Can't wait. It's nice and fresh. Yep. I think I'm just not a huge fan of the dressing. It was a balsamic dressing? I don't know. Yeah, that's why. It's a, balsam a white balsamic vinegar. Yeah, you're not a fan of balsamic. No, but I mean, it's not bad. I would eat it. I just, I definitely don't enjoy the dressing. Yeah, uh, they always say when you see more color, the better it usually you know is more color fresher uh, healthier so I'm excited we got red pepper green pepper I see a little bit of onion we said with the balsamic and I mean the size of the seafood it's good Lisa's right very refreshing Everything works beautifully, and I'm a fan of balsamic vinaigrette. I have no problems with this dish. Definitely cools you down on a hot day. Last stop of the tour, we are here at Italy. On today's menu, what we're gonna try, we're gonna try the Frito Misto. Crispy shrimp, zucchini, sweet potatoes with spicy sauce. I'll tell you this right now, Lisa. If the shrimp is better than last year, it wins. Cause it was just terrible last year. All right, here is that Frito Misto. Now this one threw me off guard. You know, it actually never says anything about pasta. Okay, so. So we just read it wrong. We thought it was gonna be like a pasta dish like last year, which is fine though, it's not. And they don't even advertise it as pasta. We just assumed it was. Yeah, I assumed pasta with uh, all the veggies on top of it and the shrimp. No. With the spicy sauce. Th this like is just it so don't come here thinking that it's pasta it's not hot just hot in general temperature wise that's a little hot the zucchini's good okay it's a fried zucchini i'm gonna get the sweet potato out of the way because i'm not a sweet potato person yeah i'm not either Fried sweet potato isn't as bad. No? As like regular sweet potato. Let's try the shrimp. The shrimp is really good too. And I like the sauce. It's like, kind of like tangy. I don't know how to, maybe like a Russian. Okay. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Maybe that's what it reminds me of. It's good. I think that's what it reminds me of though, like a Russian dressing. I'm gonna go the same order that Lisa did. I'm gonna go zucchini, the sweet potato, and the shrimp. So it looks like you only get two, two, pieces, of this, two pieces of the zucchini. I mean, it's big pieces. Yeah. When I first saw it, I thought it was mozzarella sticks. I did from too. A from a distance, folks, yeah. from a distance. Yeah, we saw someone coming out with this and I thought it was like french fries and mozzarella sticks. I was like, what the heck is that? I like the zucchini. My suspect it almost burnt my tongue, but. Zucchini is good. The breading, too greasy, in my opinion. Okay. If you bite into it, I felt spurts of like grease in my mouth. Okay. Zucchini itself is good. I like zucchini, but that, no. The breading. So, so try the now. sweet potato. I hate sweet potato. I do too, but it's not that bad when it's fried. Maybe too because it's not huge chunks either. It's not bad. I don't get much of that like bland yeah. taste that sweet potatoes have. But it's actually not bad. And I think the sauce does help it. Um, 
Now Get yourself shrimp. a shrimp. The shrimp is decent size. <laughs> and surprisingly, they give you a lot of shrimp. Yeah, they do. They give you a lot of shrimp and sweet potato. So we Lisa, they only get two zucchini. Lisa had one shrimp, I'm <laughs> having one, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six shrimp left in this size. So that's pretty good. It better be for eight dollars. <laughs> The shrimp is a lot better than last year. So it wins? <laughs> Not overall today. <laughs> but better than last year, yes. 100%. The sauce is good. It does have that Russian Thousand Island. Yeah, like that's what I was trying to figure out was like, what am I tasting? It's a, yeah, it's like a Russian Thousand Island thing. It's really good though. Um, and it also has a crisp on it, which is good that the shrimp still does. Because you know, sometimes it's getting left and it doesn't have that crisp anymore on the breading. It's really good. I'd recommend this one. The zucchini though, it just had too much grease in that fire. All right, that's gonna do it for part two of this traveling for food and wine festival, 2018. We're who, we who are world we, travelers. World travelers, come on now. What did we all hit, Lisa? Uh, India, Africa. We Germany, we had apple strudel. Hey, uh, is that tip of the year? Hey, 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 what's going on? How nice you doing? You. What's it's happening? One of these two. Oh, yeah, it's yeah. Possible. It's the dead cat. I told it's you. It's, it's a thing. It's not a cat. It's, it is a dead cat. Come on now. I'm How you doing, I'm man? How are you? I'm Dom. I'm from Dom. On the Deal Ventures. I was supposed to meet you, Steve, from 22 Ounce Adventures. That's right, that's right. We were supposed to hang out, but I don't know what Steve was doing. So. Yeah, he was all over the place, man. All over. It was, I was trying, I was texting him, and I was like, hey, I'm here. And then he's like, we just ran this way. And I'm like, my fault. I brought a lot of beer for him to drink. That's so. Hey, that's all right. When you're down here for only a couple days. Yeah, but he's coming back in January. So. Oh yeah. Yep. Definitely. We'll have to get that. Nice to meet you guys. Tony. Really nice to meet yeah. you guys. Finally. Stop by and say hi. Hey. You too. Stop by and say hi. See you guys. Bye. World travelers, and we get recognized everywhere. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Very nice people. Make sure to check out their channel. Uh, so back to it. We. Uh, you said Germany. In Germany. We had apple strudel. Yeah. Spain, we had seafood salad without tentacles. Yeah, without tentacles. Um, and then we went to Italy. And then we had Italy, which was the frito misto. Yeah. So, Tony, all, well, all very good. But Lisa, I want to ask no, you first. I'm asking you first. Okay. The winner today, I was stuck between two. Me too. And That's I made why I'm making you go first. my final decision. I'm giving it to Spain. It was light, it was earthy a little bit. The seafood is, was phenomenal, and you get a lot in it. I'm, Tony made a comment earlier. I've got to blow his mind. Yeah. He said that a dessert couldn't win overall for the day. But for me? Oh no. Germany apple strudel. That took it. Was it was actually between that and Italy for me. Oh, Italy. There I you think go. I was pleasantly surprised with Italy, especially when I was thinking I was getting a pasta. Yeah. And it wasn't. But in Italy's defense, they never did advertise it as a pasta. No, we just assumed that. Um. But okay, you're giving it to Italy. No, I'm giving it to Germany. I mean Germany. I'm sorry, Germany. Yeah, I liked Italy. I think Germany was the only one though that I was like, man, yes. Because it tasted like it just came out of the oven. Yeah. I mean, I didn't. There were none that I hated, but I guess I just wasn't like overwhelmed by India and Africa. Yeah. I liked them. I would get them again. But yeah, the apple strudel was the only thing that I was like, man, I want a lot more. <laughs> <laughs> well, there you go. That was our little bit of uh, five more places to eat. Breaking it down. Stay tuned for part three coming up sometime. We'll see you next time for that vlog finito. I'm changing my answer. Why? Because, so Norway for some reason doesn't do food and wine festival this year. But a while ago, I had gotten sour vegan gummies from their pavilion and they were awesome. 
And then one time I went back for more. And it's like they no one knew what I was talking about. They didn't have any. And they go back. Norway is my favorite. <laughs>